My, oh my, what a godsend you are. Oh, what would I do without you, sweetheart? Oh, you're here. Uh, welcome back to another episode of Weapon Guides. On this guide, we'll be going over what should have been the most brokenly overpowered weapon in GFL. Or any game, really. And if you haven't figured it out by now, it's the Galil. The Galil is an Israeli assault rifle developed in 1972 after the Six Day War. Prior to this, the IDF adopted FNFALs and long barrel Uzis, but due to the sand and dusty conditions, it became very unpopular. Then, after a long study of various weapons, they designed a new one based off what they were looking for, which was mainly reliability of an AK-47 and accuracy of an M16. That resulted in the Galil. Now, she serves as a member of Squad Negev, consisting of Negev, obviously, Galil, TAR-21, and previously Jericho. The Galil can be attained through any mission after 1-3 emergency, but is also attained from the achievement Memorable Moment, which should also guarantee that the Galil is your first assault rifle. If it wasn't your first assault rifle, then you must have bun rushed production and wasted whatever resources you had. And speaking of TDAL production, the Galil's production timer is 2 hours and 40 minutes, alongside SIG 510. Galil's damage is very middle of the road at 50, sharing that damage number with SOP-2, K2, AR-70, and G41. Respectively, Galil's rate of fire is 66 as the RPM in Zombies is 750 RPM, which is a slower firing rate than the average assault rifle. Because of it being a 2 star weapon, most other assault rifles already out damage it. Accuracy is again on the lower side at 44, but it actually outshines every other weapon in the game and here's why. Galil's skill once active jacks up her accuracy so high it's now 220, higher than any other weapon in the game. The skill itself might as well just say, you are guaranteed to never miss your shots. Even in Night Ops, with a 90% accuracy debuff, Galil will still have not much trouble nailing shots at anything that moves, even without MVGs. Tie buffs could honestly be better, but it does complement SMGs better than CZ805 as evasion buffs give SMGs better survivability. If it were me, I'd have given Ogg's tile buff set and given it to Galil as well as instantly being a 5 star weapon with the possibility of a newer upgrade, like HK416 which is still missing on most of my favorite weapons. Why? Going into Zombies terms, the Black Ops 4 version of the Galil was actually named the Grav, which was already weird in itself. It was also previously Blackout exclusive, which was nothing short of annoying. Once it was finally put into Zombies alongside the MP40, SWAT RFT, and Damien 3 sb it felt like it was nerfed. I can't exactly confirm this as it might just be my mind deceiving me, but it kind of felt like the case to me. With the difficulty gravitating towards run the meta or suffer harder than Maguka, it's becoming harder and harder to keep this godsend of a weapon effective. I was still able to make it work for most of chapter 10 with the favorite squad like you see on screen. But to me, it just feels insulting seeing it like this, here and Black Ops 4. But they definitely could have made it worse, both of them. And I'm sure a lot of you Rainbow Six fans felt similar with DB28, who might be my next web topic on weapon guides. Dad, to get serious! Before this turns into me just spewing sadness about Galil and other weapons being not as good as they should be, I'm just gonna wrap up this segment of weapon guides. Overall, the Galil is a weapon that should have been the single most powerful weapon ever, but is heavily overshadowed by meta nonsense. Despite all this negativeness, I will continue to use Galil until my dying breath. All three of mine. Soon to be four. Now with how brutal these future events are, I will still find a way to make it work. That's it for this segment of Weapon Guides. Tune in next time when we beg for a Rainbow Six crossover and just have the Lord shred anything belonging to the KCCO.